Hey everybody, it's your pal Johnny here. Today we are doing a uh, pencil drawing in Clip Studio Paint of Kerry Washington. I've recently been uh, reviewing some of Bruce Timm's artwork. I really love his art style, um, especially in his Batman, the animated series, and uh, Justice League work. But I also like his work outside of DC, his, um, his pencil drawings, uh, his his use of the color pencil is so vibrant and just has such a, a liveliness to it that I wanted to uh, see if I can emulate that. So today I tried playing around with um, a few of the, the different settings for the pen tool and Clip Studio Paint. Uh, mainly using the, um, the realistic looking pencil or the real pencil, the rough pencil, the colored pencil, and the design pencils. So uh, as far as for their use, I mean they, they all kind of have a, a different feel to them and they produce a very different look in my opinion. I tend to like the more gritty and chalky look of the real and rough pencils. And um, as far as for for coloring, I found during uh, the process that uh, using the colored pencil is definitely one of the better choice I think for um, adding your flat colors to give it a nice consistent and vibrant uh, color. Um, it took me a little while to figure that out throughout this uh, this piece, but I eventually came to, to uh, settle on that. At first I tried using the design pencil, and um, I think the design pencil is fantastic as far as for just doing quick ske uh, sketches to kind of get your ideas out onto the paper, and uh, nothing wrong with that. But as far as for trying to complete a finished piece, it gives it, I feel, a little bit of an uneven look, which is what I was not going for in this um, in this piece here. So I, I switched back over eventually to using the colored pencil. And as far as for the line work, uh, it took me kind of a while to figure out a good uh, a good flow for that, a good workflow. So I kind of uh, meddled around with uh, with between the um, the real pencil and the rough pencil and even the colored pencil to some extent to kind of see which would give me the 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 best looking line that I was going for and eventually I, I settled on doing a combination of the real pencil and the rough pencil I feel like the real pencil gives me more of that classic kind of uh, rough looking pencil look but the rough pencil actually I feel gives it a little bit more of a solid dense look so it looks, uh, your line looks a little bit uh, thicker, or maybe not thicker, but it looks, it looks more uh, saturated. So I feel it, it gives a, a nicer, cleaner look uh, when you kind of use the two together. Or at least that's kind of what I found um, throughout. So um, I early enjoyed doing this piece. I had a lot of fun. It took me a lot of uh, trial and error to to get to a point where I was a little bit more comfortable with it and I still got a long ways to go but I uh, definitely had a good time with it and um, I hope that uh, learning from my mistakes will help <laughs> give you all a little bit of insight if you are Clip Studio Paint users. That's pretty much all I've got for today's episode. Um, I'll meet you back at the end and yeah.
then that should be it for today thank you all so much for watching have yourself a good one and that's it bye